Hello and welcome back to Hydrostat Info. In this video, I will show you how to check if your girlfriend is home alone. Let's begin! Now, it's very important to note that this might not be legal, <laughs> um, but uh, for, uh, for real design, it might not work for you. This tutorial is pretty hard to go through and the method I'm going to show um, is probably not going to work on your device. You can still try uh, or, you know, you could, for example, text your girlfriend and ask if she's home alone. Uh, but, you know, if you're really stubborn or if for some reason she doesn't trust you, but why, would, why wouldn't she, right? Um, let's just follow on this tutorial, shall we? Um, the very first thing I need to show you is my router which is right here. This is my router, uh, it's the TP-Link router, and if I would switch it and show the bottom, uh, we'll see that there is a little card here. And if we look here, we have a default access uh, with a nice sight on it. If we now put our uh, router right here, and if we go to our, oh, that's a, little spo that's a spoiler, but we can ignore that. Um, if we go here and search for it, so we have our tepalink wifi.net. I'm not going to bother with, you know, in, uh, manually uh, typing it. Uh, we will be transported to this site. Uh, it's important to note that in order to access this site, we have to be first logged in into the network itself. Uh, as you can see, I'm logged in into the Stockholm network, and this is the network that's coming from the router uh, on my right. Now, I uh, just, you know, configured this router like a half a, a half a, a, a hour ago and I know that the password is admin and if I put enter, I will know that this will work and I will be uh, successfully logged in into uh, the hub, let's say the admin hub on our um, network here. However, if you do not know the password, then you're screwed because well if it, it's probably the, it depends on uh, the router but on the tp link you have 10 uh, guesses and if you if you uh, take a wrong guess uh, then the router will be blocked and you will have to uh, restart it to factory settings in order to successfully use it once again so uh, Keep that in mind that you might try to guess the password, you might try to find it, because most of the time the password is also at the bottom of your modem, though it might not be always the case. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Anyway, um, let's go to the other problem, and that being uh, the necessity of having, of being connected to the Wi-Fi in order to access the site. You could get around with it, uh, like there is a... Uh, a way to not be connected, at least not directly, and it's the site of, um, it's called No IP. Uh, there is a, uh, there is a sub site called Remote Access. So as you can see, using a site like this, uh, we can generate uh, the dynamic DNS access. And in theory, we should be able to remotely access this network, even though uh, we are not nearby it. I'm not going to show you the details of it, uh, since, as you can see, uh, having the ability to actually do that costs money, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, it depends how we see it. Uh, but just keep in mind that there is a way for you to do that remotely. Uh, you, need, you just need to search for other tutorials in order to do that. Sorry. Anyway, um, now we can go back to our admin control panel. And it's probably, it's, it may worry, it may vary depending on your router, on the site you're on, etc, etc. But most of the time it's something like this. You want to search for a tab called status. As you can see on the top of the link, it's in the right here, uh, in the advanced. And if we scroll down, uh, we will see a list of every single client or every single device that is connected to our Wi-Fi. On the left we have wired clients. Uh, these are the ones that... Uh, are connected to Wi-Fi via an internet cable, uh, Ethernet cable, sorry. And on the right we have wireless clients that are currently connected via Wi-Fi. As you can see currently, I only have one client 
and that being this being gaming laptop which I'm using to record this video right now. So if I would take uh, my, for example, phone here and I will uh, search for a new network. So I will do something like this, enable the Wi-Fi. Uh, as you can see, I'm already connected to the local network. This is because I have it saved on my device and now I'm connected to my network. So if I would press F5 and refresh the site, and you know, scroll down, but in the advanced, we will see that now we have two wireless clients, our gaming laptop and our device, which is named Redmi A5 because it is Redmi A5, obviously. And what's important is that it works both, way, both ways. So for example, if I would take this phone and walk away, for example, uh, away from my home, uh, my Wi-Fi would be disconnect, uh, disconnected automatically. Uh, we can simulate this by just, you know, disabling the Wi-Fi. It's the same if, if I would just leave uh, the area. Uh, so we have a little funny simulation. And now uh, my Redmi A5 will disappear from this list. And it's only gaming laptop. So, using information of which uh, device is connected to your network, you might want to try and guess um, who is near in the home right now. So, if you know your girlfriend's device, if you know her parents' uh, devices, uh, then you could easily just check who is in home and who is not, uh, depending on if they are connected to the network or not. So, once again, it's a very painful way to do this. Uh, a much easier way and legally accepted way and morally accepted way is to just ask your girlfriend if she's home alone, you know. Uh, but if you want to play with things like this, uh, you could. I'm not saying that you can't. Maybe you can't if it's really illegal. Hmm. Anyway, I think it's all for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.